Welcome to Glenstall Abbey. Today's icon is a panel from the 19th century Russian festal icon, which depicts the feasts of the church year. The panel depicts the Trinity. The depiction of the Trinity, and especially of God the Father, was a problem for iconographers. How could the invisible God be adequately portrayed without misrepresenting him? There is an account in the Old Testament which helped theologians and iconographers to visualize the Trinity. The story is of Abraham's hospitality to the Lord in Genesis 18. The account begins with a clear focus on the Lord God. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oak of Mamre, as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. Genesis 18.1 There is then a switch to the plural when the story is told. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing near him. Genesis 18.2 The one Lord appears in the guise of three men. Early Christians understood the switch from one to three as being a revelation of the Trinity. This resolved the difficulty for iconographers as to how they might depict the Father. The icon depicts three winged figures seated around a table with one cup in the middle. The icon depicts the men as angels. There is a tree in the background representing the oak tree at Mamre, which overshadows the central figure. There is an ill-defined wall to the left, possibly part of Abraham's tent, and some grass and vegetation at the base. The central figure is dressed in a pink undergarment and green overgarment, while the two figures at either side are dressed identically in blue undergarments and red overgarments. The central figure represents the father whose right hand is raised in blessing over the cup. His gaze is turned to the right to the son, while the spirit to the left of the father also gazes at the son. The hands of the son and spirit are also extended in blessing, but at a lower level than the father. The symmetry of the movements and the bodies, each turned towards the other, symbolize the unity and harmony of the Trinity. There is a vacant place at the table for the viewer who is drawn into this unity and harmony.